What's up, invaders? It's your boy, Invader Rush, is back out again with another banger video. Today, story time. Now, listen, y'all. I've been on this story back for so long. I don't want those shade, but boy, this story right here is juicy. Now, listen. If you're a real G, y'all know about this girl, right? I did a story time. She came on the channel. She gave her side of the story. I might have to bring that story time back because there's a little more I can put into it, you feel me? And, you know, there's just story times that, you know, I can bring to the table for y'all. Apparently, y'all like my story times, you feel me? Because my life, I swear, it's like a sitcom, you feel me? Netflix might as well just hit my line, give me my show or whatever, and let me just tell my story, you feel me? But anyway, if you're new to the crew, make sure you know what to do. Make sure you like, comment. Hey! And subscribe to your boy for the one time. Turn on post notifications when the bell's at so you can be part of the very squad. You know, run an intro. And a down for you it was a nice day you feel me i met this girl at the beach you feel me trying to put it on for the homie homie wasn't working out so she was feeling me now me she was bad and i was just trying to be a good homie and put him on for her you feel me but this nigga was just having a lot of complications he was very awkward she's actually feeling me more so we started texting let's just drop the question what you doing tonight i just got home about to take a shower and just chill out what you trying to do I'll bet we can hang out. Oh, word? That's the type of time you want? I bet. So, I get my whip, slide to a crib. She actually stays seven minutes away from me. Oh, God. <laughs> Is this meant to be? Like, bro, what? Seven minutes away from me, bro? Because she ain't look like she was from here. You feel me? I dang near know everybody in my city. You feel me? Everybody know me. Nigga, I'm a 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six giant. You feel me? Everybody doesn't see me, whether I know you or not. So, I pick her up, you know, she she looking good, you feel me? She looking good. I'm like, all right, what you trying to do? She didn't know what she wanted to do, so I'm like, all right, god dang it. All right, I'm thinking she maybe she has some plans she want to do. You know, I'm driving around. I try to go get some ice cream, you know, have a little ice cream, little, little car day, you know, little set of vibes. Ice cream place is close. I'm like, Dairy Queen. A nigga trying to have a cheap day. <laughs> like, come on, cuz. Like, I couldn't even have a cheap day. So we ended up going to the movies, you feel me? I dang near almost killed us. I literally, like, turned around in the middle of the road, and this oncoming traffic of, like, a four-way traffic, bro. These cars are honking at me, and the car almost flipped. Ah, um, god dang it. She grabbed on to me because the car's moving so much, and she starts laughing. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I almost just killed her. She's like, no, you're good. I was like, all right, so we get to the movie theater. I think we went to go see, I think it was, like, a bunny movie or something like that. It was a real subtle movie. So, we get to the movie theater, you feel me? We get the snacks, get the little popcorn, you feel me? Get that little slushy, you know what I'm saying? Because you're going to be slushing on me, I mean. So, we, we get the snacks, you know what I'm saying? We get to the movie theater up top. Movie day and start for a good minute. So, we go upstairs. We go play a little, you know, hoopy hoopy. I just show you, you know, a little nigga got a little shot on me. You see what I mean? Play a little, you know, a little squirt gun game because I'm going to get that way, you know what I'm saying? I mean. So, you know, of course I won. You know what I'm saying? I, I got some my competitive side. So, movie's about to start. We get our snacks and all, yada, yada, yada. We get our snacks or whatever, right? And we hop in the movie theater. Now, the movie didn't start for like another five minutes. So, I'm sitting there. We chopping it up a little bit. You know, how's your day going? You know, are you from here? It's just like, uh, I'm, I'm not really from here. I came here with my dad, you know, a few years ago and stuff like that. I'm like, all right, cool. Where are you from? She told me about that. She gave me the rundown with her family and stuff like that. She asked me a few questions. You know, are you from here? Well, yeah, I'm born and raised in this little trash seat of Ratchet City. You know what I'm saying? Me and the popcorn or whatever. She getting a little cold. I didn't bring a blanket in. See, I'm going to put you on game, bro. You got to be on game, bro. If shorty's cold and you got a hoodie, give her the hoodie, bro. You know, sacrifice a little bit. At the end of the day, you sacrifice. <laughs> that reward gonna be OD, baby. Right, you know, I sacrifice getting my hoodie or whatever. No, we call him whatever. He laying on me. During the movie, like five minutes in, my arm just goes numb. So imagine this, right? And Shorty laying on, laying on you like this. She ain't that heavy, but she laying on me like this, right? My arm just goes numb. I'm literally. So I'm still 
really trying to. Uh, uh, no, no, you good, you good. A little bit halfway out of the movie, you know, she just looking up at me, and I can just feel her eyes because she just looking up like this. She just smiling at me, so I look down. And I swear, I thought I was just smelling something because the movie theater, it did have a decent amount of people in it, right? I'm thinking I'm just smelling something. I didn't want her noticing me, so I'm no. <sighs> no, I act like I'm, I gotta clear my throat. <clears throat> she watched the movie a little more, and then she looks at me again and smiles. I'm looking down at her because she's not that tall, bro. I'm 6'5, she's maybe like 5'2, 5'3 at most, maybe like 102 pounds. God, hey! She's overly small. She just looking up at me with her little, with her little fire that, you know what I'm saying? And almost like a pretty eye. So she look up at me, bro. I look down there. I, I smile back, you know what I'm saying? I got to apply that pressure. You know, apply a little pressure. Just a little pressure. You don't want to look thirsty, guys. I'm telling you. I'm putting you on game. I look down at her. I was like, you good? She was like, yeah. I said, <clears throat> I was like, yeah, you good? Yeah, you sure you good? Like. She was like, yeah, why you say that? Oh, nothing. I don't know, bro. Like, oh. like, no, like, it, bro, when I said it, it smells so bad, I mean, that her breath smells like a double CBD. Like, oh, oh. Yeah, my nigga, it, it was not fresh. Oh. He it's needs really some like milk. Ate you're breakfast, done. my nigga. Sardines. Oh. And drink a whole bottle of pasta. He needs like, some it, milk. it was bad. I'm not trying to throw shots, but my guy, you go on a date? I don't care if you got to have drip on. You you ain't got hat drip. You come in some sandals, some slides, some socks, some shorts, and a hoodie. That like, I was in a basic fit. You know what I'm saying? Jordan one Miz, some jeans and a hoodie. Like I was in a basic fit, and I just had my curls done. You know what I'm saying? So, like number one, just make sure your breath good, bro. Like number two, if you if you got a little smell good, you know, put on some deodorant at least. You know, if you got some perfume, cologne, you know, s -s 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 all day. Come on, we hood with it. The breath. I mean, Shorty couldn't take a hint or a man, bro. I mean, it was bad. He has the dash to make out with me and reach up. And I looked down, her lips was already there. Uh, and, bro, on the first kiss, bro, she put the tongue in my mouth. I was like, oh, somebody. how you not smell your own breath? I mean, no. None of that, bro? No. None of that at all? So you you going to kiss me with your hot breath at? Like, come on, man. That's, that's overly violated. I mean, she was a good kisser, but... Now hold on, bro. I'm not nasty, bro. I'm not. I swear, I'm not nasty for kissing a hot breath girl. But my nigga, it was bad. Like, ladies, you know, just brush your teeth. You feel me? Us guys, you know, we don't do too much. At least y'all could do. We already know y'all fine. So you already a, a nine out of ten. We just need y'all to get the extra point. Just smell good. You feel me? Just smell good. Because we fell in love with you for your looks. Now all we gotta do is fill out your vibe. If your breath is bad. That's a bad vibe. That was it. I took her home whatever. We started talking for a minute. But if y'all want to know more stories about that girl, bro, yeesh, I got some heat in the bag, bro. Comment down below if y'all want to hear them stories. If y'all like these story times, comment down below. Say more story times, all that stuff. We're on the road to 500 subscribers and then 1K. My goal is to get to 1K before the year ends, you feel me? We're going to get consistent. I promise you. I'm trying to get good content for you guys. So if you're new to the crew, make sure you know what to do. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to your boy for more time. Turn on post notifications. Where the bells at? So you can be part of the Bear Squad. Beta Rushes, where you going? Yay! Here we go!